So today, a quick tutorial on a neat text effect in Adobe Illustrator that you are going to fall in love with. My workflow is slightly different to other people that I've seen, so let's get started by pressing M for the rectangle tool and covering our entire artboard with black or a dark color. Then just press Command or Control and 2 to lock this background object down. Great, so next press P for the pen tool, click once, hold down shift, and then click again to make a straight line. We want only a stroke with no fill for this vector path. You can press V for vector to click away from the line. We now need to apply a zigzag effect to the line. Make sure to use the soft setting in this panel, and then whatever size you feel like might work best. A lot of this process in today's video will be trial and error, and you probably won't get it right first time around. Now, we have our curve. We need to extrude it, and so head into the 3D Classic Effects window and the Bevel and Extrude options. The very first thing you must do is to increase the perspective, and again, how much you apply is entirely up to you. That also goes with the Extrude Depth and the other values at the top which indicates the axis perspective. You can just play around with these numbers until you're happy with how your shape looks. Okay, so click the shape and hold down the Alt or the Option key, and then click and drag to duplicate it. We now need to generate some text just like this, and make sure the colour is white. We're going to turn this into a symbol via, well you guessed it, the symbol menu. Click the top right corner and then add a new symbol. Give a name to your symbol, and avoid typos so you don't look stupid like I just have. Now, we come back into the first shape that we made earlier and click onto it. Open the appearance panel, which is actually one of the most useful and most powerful panels in Illustrator. Double check that your shape is selected and then click the 3D effect right here. Navigate to the map art option and toggle the slider until you see all of the top flat surface highlighted in red. This is where we overlay our text. So once you're happy with the surface, click the symbol drop down menu and find your aptly named symbol. Now it's really annoying that there's no way to scale our text without distorting it, because shift keys don't work in this part of the program for some reason. So just try to arrange and scale your text as best as you can, and you might need to flip it because the text might read backwards initially so. But when that's complete, hit OK, and we're now going to move to the second shape. For this second shape, double click the stroke panel and change the stroke to white. We also need to come into the 3D effect in the appearance panel for this one too, but this time around we're going to change the lighting so we can have the best shadow and highlight possible for our design. So you then bring the shape exactly over the top of the other one, and Illustrator should snap them into place perfectly. Then bring them onto your artboard. We need to come into the transparency menu to change the blend mode for the top shape to multiply. Now I also like to duplicate the shape and experiment with different blend modes. This technique is pretty easy once you know how to do it, and it can provide some neat designs. But if you want to see more content in Adobe Illustrator or just graphic design in general, do click a video on screen. And until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.